Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse. Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. It is December 30th. Can you believe the year is almost over? Two days away. Anticipating his work, you will make known to me the path of life, and your presence is fullness of joy. And that's Psalm. As, you, as the year draws to a close and you look at the possibilities ahead of you, what is that seems impossible? What has the Lord called you to do that appears far beyond your ability to achieve? You may not see how it could ever work out, but God does. And he will assume full responsibility for your needs as you obey him. The word obey, right? Let's think about that later. So how can you remain in the center of God's will as you anticipate his provisions? First, seek the Father's guidance and submit to his direction. Second, keep your focus on the Lord's character rather than your circumstances. By recalling his victories. Third, cultivate a godly life by meditating on scripture. Finally, praise the Lord for his intimate involvement in every detail of your life. Your heavenly father wants to be the very best for you. And he will never lead you astray. So stay in the center of his will, watching for his activity and expecting him to work on your behalf. Because with him directing you, nothing will be impossible. Lord, I know you will fulfill all your promises to me. Thank you for leading me in the way I should go. Amen. And his presence expect his direction and provision. So there's a lot, right? You read this at first. If you say you don't have a strong relationship, you're like, well, how do I do all this, right? I mean, the first thing is obeying, right? So when you pray and meditate and you build a relationship, and then you feel like God is speaking to your spirit or God has spoken to you and or you've discerned, you need to obey. You can't take that and say, okay, God, well, I'm not ready for that. Because you can't ask for something and then not obey. When you obey and you surrender and say, God, I need you to take control. I need you to help me. I need you to really direct my steps. As he directs your path, he sees the big picture. He knows exactly how you're going to sort of overcome whether it's adversity or challenges. He knows exactly what's going to happen. But what happens is along the way, we become sort of discouraged because we don't see it. It's not working the way that we thought. It's not working on our timetable. And if 2020 has taught you anything... What has taught us that nothing is what it seems, right? Nothing is sort of going along with the plan, right? We've all made plans and it means nothing, especially in 2020. So what you need to do, I know everyone makes these New Year's resolutions, is first thing we need to do is build a strong relationship with Christ through a routine. Through the routine, through reading scripture, slowly things will be revealed. And then you will be able to surrender it over to the Lord. You'll be able to trust in the Lord. You will still face adversity, excuse me. You'll still face adversity, but you'll know how to handle it. And when those thoughts of fear and anxiety come in in 2021, because they will just like they did in 2020, you'll be able to say, I surrendered over to the Lord. I trust in you. And when he speaks to your spirit, make sure you obey. If you want Jesus, if you want God, if you want the Father to direct your path, you must obey what he says and how he speaks to your spirit. Enjoy the new year if I don't speak to you and God bless you. I will be praying for you. Until next time, always remember you have the ability to inspire and evangelize through your words and actions. God bless you.